Russia's Ministry of Defense is exclusively negotiating the purchase of a large helicopter carrier, the French Mistral. But the proposed $2 billion deal has raised doubts among the country's military experts. As RT's Dmitry Medvedenko reports, many of them question the possible acquisition, saying the money could instead be invested in Russia's arms industry. The Mistral is a state-of-the-art helicopter carrier. Commissioned in 2005, it's the pride of the French Navy. The ship can carry up to 16 heavy helicopters plus two hovercraft and can transport up to 70 vehicles and 13 tanks. Russia and France have confirmed they are in exclusive talks on the deal. There are certain issues still to be resolved between our ministries, but we can definitely say that we are interested in buying not one, but several vessels. Buying foreign military technology is common practice. Not a single country has the capacity to fully satisfy the needs of its military. Not even the U.S., the world's largest military force, which spends up to a billion dollars a year on foreign technology. We can't produce ships like the Mistral. We don't have the means to do it. The industry is in crisis. But Russia needs new technology, and Russia will benefit from the cooperation with France, a NATO country. But the ship is best used for long-distance transoceanic missions. This isn't the type of operation Russia focuses on. If Russia had interests in, say, Papua New Guinea or Sri Lanka, then yes, this would be a good buy. But that's not the case, at least not today. The deal could be worth up to $2 billion and would be the largest buy to date. Experts fear this will not be easy for Russia's existing military supplies to take. The deal is a blow to Russia's reputation as a military power. The funds could easily repair a large part of the fleet and increase its efficiency. It is still unclear whether France will be given the go-ahead to sell the license for Mistral's navigation and communication system. It's calibrated to work based on NATO protocols. Meanwhile, U.S. media has criticized the deal, saying Russia is flexing its muscle while Washington is reviewing its anti-missile defense shield in Eastern Europe. Dmitry Medvedenko, RT.